Hey there, Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers here. A few weeks ago, I signed the 2021-23 biannual budget. I'm proud of the work we've done to put our state and economy in the best position to recover from this pandemic, which enabled us to sign a bipartisan budget that delivered on my promise to cut taxes by 10 percent with one of the largest tax cuts in Wisconsin state history. But when I signed this budget, I said it left a lot to be desired. I'm proud we've worked these past few years to reverse years of massive cuts to education at every level in our state. But this budget's bare minimum wasn't enough for our kids, not after the year they've had and all the work we'll do together to help make sure they're successful this year. So while I was able to announce more than $100 million in new funding for our kids and our schools, in addition to the investments included in the budget, I also called on the legislature in my budget veto message to finish the work they started. And it needs to start with education. That's why today I'm giving Republicans a chance to do the right thing. Through my broad veto authority, I've made sure we had state resources readily available for the legislature to do the right thing and make meaningful investments in our kids and our schools like they should have done in the budget. Late last Friday, Republicans in the legislature quietly indicated they're coming into extraordinary session on Tuesday. That's tomorrow, just to try to override my vetoes. Now, while I'm glad they aren't taking this summer off, it's unfortunate that while Wisconsinites are unified and celebrating a huge win for our state, Republicans are busy trying to play politics and sow division. If Republicans have time to come into session just to try and override my vetoes, then they sure as heck have time to come into session and to do what's best for our kids. So if they're going to come to Madison, then they have work to do. That's why I'm calling a special session of the legislature for tomorrow while they will already be here at the Capitol so that they can use that time to also make the meaningful investments in our kids and our schools that they should have made in the budget. Under my special session plan, we're going to invest $240 million into per pupil aid. That's money that can go directly into the classroom to help support kids in every school district in the state. And we're also investing $200 million in special education aids, which will help ensure our schools won't have to divert funding just to support every kid in the classroom. Finally, we're also calling for investing $110 million into higher education and our University of Wisconsin system, which is a key economic driver for our state so that they can continue to be a critical asset in helping our state and economy recover from this pandemic. I always say what's best for our kids is best for our state. That's why if we want our state and economy to continue to recover, then we have to start with our kids. So, members of the legislature, it's time to do the right thing and make the investments that our kids and our schools have deserved all along. See you tomorrow. It's time to get to work.